It is becoming easier and easier to launch an NFT collection thanks to a lot of awesome new tools on the market. And today I'm going to show you how to launch your NFT collection in less than five minutes. So one little caveat here is that you will need to have your artwork layers already created or you have an artist create them for you. Ignore my really sloppy, crappy artboard, please. Okay, so today we're gonna to be using LaunchMyNFT.io to launch our NFT collection. LaunchMyNFT actually supports Ethereum, Solana, Binance, Avalanche, Phantom, Polygon, and Stacks net blockchain networks. So you can launch your NFT collection on a lot of different networks using this website. But today I'm gonna to be using Solana. So I've connected my wallet and now I'm gonna click on Create. You're gonna have two options here. New, the first new collection option is if you already have your NFT images generated and their metadata generated. Generate collection is gonna be if you just have your image layers and you want to have this website generate your artwork and your metadata for you. So today we're gonna to go with that option. Gotta sign in real quick. Once you've signed that message, then you can start putting in the details of your NFT. Always leave a pound or hashtag symbol at the end of your base art name so that the number looks correct there on each of your NFTs. Here, we're just gonna put our description. Right here, you set the cost of mint and launch my NFT actually takes, I believe it's a 2% cut of your mint uh, funds. So make sure you price that into whatever you want your mint cost to be. We're gonna actually make this project a free mint. So I'm putting in zero. We're gonna set the royalties here. And if you want, you can have it reveal later. So you can reveal the artwork of your project later, or you can actually freeze the collection. While frozen, your NFTs cannot be traded. They will become unfreezable after sellout or after the unfreeze date, which is unique to the Solana blockchain. Here's where you put your royalty wallets, the wallets that'll get all the royalties. You can split it with another wallet if you'd like, or in our case, we just have one wallet here. So I'm gonna click next. Now we drag and drop our folder with our assets here, and you can download an example input folder, which I highly suggest doing so you see the correct way to organize your folder structure. You can see here my folder structure. You can see our layers here, and each of our layers is then organized by its rarity level, common, legendary, rare, super rare. I've got all my layers organized and ready to go. So I'm gonna drop this folder full of these layers into launch my NFT. Okay, my folder full of layers has been loaded in. Now, the first thing I do is I set the number of NFTs I want to be in the collection. And then I set PNG or JPEG. This is a personal preference. I prefer PNG, include rarity. I always leave that checked. Here you can change the order of your layers. This is very, very important. You're gonna have to do this manually. It doesn't isn't gonna just know by default the, uh, the order of your layers. Okay, now that I've got my layer order done here, you can adjust these percentages. And this is your percentage of NFTs that will have this layer at all. So background layer, I want every single NFT to have that. So I'm leaving that at 100%. Scene, this is a layer over the background. I'm gonna put this at 10%. Fur, I'm, I want every single one of them to have fur. And then clothing, I think we're gonna do 70% of them will be clothed. So there will be some that are just bare naked fur. Ooh and uh, we want them all to have eyes. Eye accessories, I want like 1% to have eye accessories. In our case, it's just an eye patch and I want that to be very rare. So I'm putting that in as 1%. How many of them are gonna have hats? I'm gonna say that 80%, we'll do 60% have hats. Mouths, we want them all to have mouths. And then these top layer accessories, which I've got just a few of, I'm gonna say 10% here. Once you've got the general percentage for all your different layers, then you can go into each layer, adjust the percentage for each rarity group. And these were the folders. If you remember, we organized all our folders by these different rarity group types. So rare, legendary, common, and then super rare. So then you can go into each of these and you can adjust the rarity percentage 
for each one of these different groups of traits uh, in your collection. And you can kind of see how I've broken down the percentage here for each of those ca categories. You could, and of course, do whatever you'd like for these percentages. Once you're done adjusting your layer order, the rarity percentages for each of your different layer categories, you can click on preview a bunch of times to then just preview what your collection will kind of look like, how many times you might see the different traits among all the different NFTs. This is just a good way to get a preview of what your overall collection will end up looking like. Once you're done, click generate at the bottom. Let's see, we're generating our NFTs pretty quickly here. Just takes a couple minutes. Once it's done generating your images, it's gonna ask you where you want to save the folder of images. Just click save and it will download your images as a zip file. Once you've got that zip folder, unzip it and then drop the folder with your artwork and metadata into here. And you will see a preview of what your NFT collection is going to look like. You can click on any individual NFT to pull up its information here. You can see the description, you can see the attributes of this in particular NFT. You can even see the rarity rank. Really cool to be able to preview all this before you launch your collection. Once you're happy with your collection, go ahead and click continue. It will upload the images and metadata. Now we're ready to deploy to the blockchain. Here we go. And I've signed the transaction. We are deploying to the blockchain. We've almost launched our NFT collection. Me, oh, success. Now we can check out our mint page. And we've got our mint page for Killa Sloths. That's how you launch your collection in five minutes. Now, important things, you can now manage your collection. You can burn some of the supply. You can embed the mint button. You can delete this collection. You can download the hash list. And uh, here you can upload a banner image or a cover image for your collection. Here's your verified creator ID. You can put in your Discord and link the official Twitter for the account so they'll show up here on the page. And uh, go ahead and share this collection with people and they can now mint this. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please subscribe for more crypto and NFT related content.